So I'm Mr. Alvarado. I'm Coach Salazar. I'm Ashley Gonzalez. And I served in the United States Marine Corps from 1990 to 94 on active duty. And then I did two years of reserve um, after that. And I also served in the Army Reserve from, from 2004 to 2006. I served in the United States uh, Air Force from July 1982 to December of 1989. I am part of the Army Reserves. What is Veterans Day to you? Veterans Day to me is honoring my family and friends and all those who have served. Well, to me, Veterans Day is just a, a day when we reflect on uh, basically the service of, of millions of Americans. Um, I think about my time in the service, you know, being active duty from 1990 to 94, and uh, just simply um, getting to do a lot of different things. But I think what, what I remember most is kind of, kind of that camaraderie, uh, just being around other other Marines and uh, always, always trying to get mission ready. Um, just simply because, you know, being in the service, you don't know what what's gonna happen or what, you know, government's gonna decide or what things are gonna happen around the planet. And so you're gonna have to be ready to, to react to really whatever situation. And so for me, Veterans Day is, you know, just kinda, it, it's, it's a time of, of reflection, a time uh, when we think about all the service members that are all over uh, the planet, really. Veterans Day to me is uh, the honoring of those people who served, because everybody who served um, wrote the check. Vet veterans understand the meaning of writing the check, or of the blank check. And, and basically what that means is, is that, uh, well, a lot of people who don't serve don't realize that as Americans, we have rights, and the rights are covered under the Constitution of the United States. But when you volunteer to serve, you actually waive your rights under the Constitution. You, you become a different type of citizen. And the Constitution of the United States, um, free press, free speech, all that stuff, a lot of it doesn't exist for you uh, in the same capacity. There's a lot of things we can't do when we're in the military. And it's made very clear to us that that's what we're signing on for. So, so veterans um, uh, expose themselves like that, unlike other Americans. They volunteer to do that. And, um, and so it's a different lifestyle, you know, and, and that's so and it, it also means a lot when it come, when we talk about those who um, who made the ultimate sacrifice, who paid the ultimate price with their lives in the service of, of their country. What inspired you to join the service? The benefits, all of them, um, free college, free health care, free like home loan, everything. <laughs> so I wanted to be a Marine. Um, I think probably when I was maybe like a freshman or so. I think I'd already thought about, you know, going to the Marine Corps. And um, um, once I, when I graduated at first, I kind of, I had cold feet, you know, I got cold feet. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll go to college first. And, and I did one year of college and then uh, I went back and, uh, and I actually enlisted in the Marine Corps. And um, for me, it was, I mean, it was just something that I always wanted to do. I wanted to serve my country. Um, I was very grateful of everything that that I basically that I had experienced up to that point. Um, and so to me, it was just, you know, how do I serve my country? And that was, and that's that's what I did. I just simply joined the Marine Corps and and I did, you know, I basically, you know, put in 100% um, of everything. It didn't matter what kind of a task, you know, they gave us. And sometimes you're out in the jungle, sometimes you're in the desert, um, sometimes you're you're getting uh, rain in your, meat, in your breakfast, um, but it didn't really matter. None of that stuff mattered. Um, I just figured I would give it my best and, and you know, I, I think I got a lot in return, so. Truly what inspired me to join the service was three hots and a cot. You know what that is? Three hots and a cot, three hot meals a day and a place to sleep. Um, I wasn't motivated by the idea that I wanted to serve my country. I was motivated by the idea that I wanted to leave home and I wanted to leave home in a way that was responsible. And, you know, I could more or less take care of myself. Uh, and provide for myself. And the military offered me the fastest way to do that. Um, I had no desire uh, to be a great American when I, when I joined. Uh, I just had a desire to be somewhere else when I first joined. How did the military help you as an individual and how did it change you as a person? The military, the Army specifically, has helped me 
um, become more disciplined, you know, work together as a team, and trust myself, you know, with other people, just kind of hard to do, but So, yeah. as far as an individual, you know, I've I really I've spent a lot of time thinking about this, and I I always think, okay, did did the Marine Corps make me, or did they just kind of bring out some of those things that were already in me, right? Um, because I grew up here in this valley, and so you know, my dad basically would get us up about five o'clock in the morning, and so we would go out to work and stuff like that in the fields, and you know, you'd come back, you know, when it when it was dark and stuff. So you had to have that kind of that discipline, that endurance. Um, you know, to be able to make it through those days. And, and I think the Marine Corps, for me, it was kind of like, it just kind of revealed those traits, those things that I already had in me, um, that basically my, my parents were able to foster that, you know, within, within my own life. So that's, you know, as an individual, I kind of think that, that that's, um, that they were basically very well connected. Um, now, as far as what I got out of it, um, well, I know that I, I came back a lot more disciplined, a lot more focused. Um, I came back with, with money to go to college and so that was definitely helpful. I didn't have to, you know, worry as much about, you know, having to pay my bills or any of that stuff while I, while I went to college. And so I, I think, you know, those are some of the benefits. Um, but just, you know, like I said before, just serving my country and, and um, just kind of becoming a better person and reflecting more about you know everything that that this country has to offer for for all of us really um, and so that's i think that's that's the way i, I look at things how did it help me as an individual uh during the military as i told you i you know my whole purpose for going in the military was just to get away from home um, but i was very surprised by the changes that i went through as a as a member of the armed forces i mean it happened pretty pretty immediately um my matter of fact my first night of basic training was, um, well, it was a nightmare. Um, you know, you, know you, you think to yourself, what have I got myself into? What have I done? Things like that. Um, but um, soon after, uh, within about a week, you start feeling like you're a member of something, something bigger than yourself. Um, and, and, and really at that time, you're not really a member like for myself, I joined the Air Force. In that first week, I wasn't a member of the Air Force. I was a, a member of Flight 012 in the 3702nd BMTS, Basic Military Training Squadron. Um, and the 60 of us were, you know, we were strangers a week ago. And now our heads are shaved and we're dressed alike and we all look alike. And somehow in that, in that quick amount of time, we, we became um, as close as siblings, you know, and so that was a, that was a big deal. Uh, the other part of your question was? How did it change you as a person? How did it change me as a person? Um, I became um, a person of responsibility and accountability. Uh, you learn real fast um, that excuses don't get the don't, don't get the job done. Uh, you also understand that um, we're human and we make mistakes, um, but you learn how to overcome that, and you learn that you have weaknesses uh, as well as strengths, and your your buddies have weaknesses and strengths, and and the hope is is that my weakness is his strength and his strength is my weakness. Uh, I, I, so, you know, they, they, I said the same thing twice, didn't I? Um, that, uh, that his weakness is my strength. Uh, so, and that's, that's all part of the team, you know, and so you learn that very quickly. I mean, right away in basic training, you know, you figure out, you know, who's good at making a bed and who's good at, at uh, cleaning, a, uh, you know, a squad bay and who's good at shining boots and who's good at ironing and folding clothes. And you start working together where, you know, maybe I'm not, I'm not good at making my bed, but I'm good at shining boots. So all of a sudden I'm shining other people's boots and people are making my bed as well as making others' beds. So it's all, it, it becomes a team thing and that happens right away. And then that's carried on later in your training and later in your service. You know, you, you learn that you're part of a you're, you're a, you're a piece of a much bigger machine. And, and it's important. Your piece is important. So you also learn that as well. So that was a big deal.